Hi, today we're going to find IL of T for T is greater than zero using the step-by-step -step method. And you'll see that we have a circuit with an um, independent current source, three resistors, four resistors, um, an inductor, as well as an independent um, current source, I mean a dependent current source. And we know to find IL of T is going to be some constant K plus K I mean plus kt e to the negative t over tau and we'll see that at t equals um, zero before zero that this uh, this part of the circuit is a there's no current that flows through the circuit so we won't worry about this part and we're only concerned about this um, this two meshes right here this two mesh circuit right here and our I L T will have some form looking like this k1 plus k2 e to the negative t over tau and when t is less than zero also an inductor acts as a as a short circuit and so there's just a wire going through here but we do know that there's a current going through this inductor i mean yeah before t is greater than zero because it acts as a short circuit and therefore as a wire and there's a current that goes through this loop you'll see so we'll say this is i of l and the same current that goes through this wire is the same current that goes through this resistor right here which has a value of 2k my apologies for not labeling the um, the elements of the circuit but conveniently, they're all 2K resistors. And so it would be um, simpler math to find the answer. And that's 10 milliamps. And so only concerning about this left side of the circuit for T is less than zero, we'll apply current division. We'll see that um, we can just divide these two. So we'll do current. division and we'll say that I of L is equal to um, 10 milliamps time 2k over 2k plus 2k because it's kind you see the current that goes through this resistor is split off in two by these two resistors so to find the current going through this wire you'll just multiply 10 milliamps times 2k over 2k plus 2k and we'll get 5 milliamps and the value of um, I of uh, I of T of for T is greater than zero is also equal to you know the current before zero which is five milliamps so therefore the value of I zero of zero plus is equal to um, five milliamps and now we'll try to find I O of um, infinity which will be equal to by the way by to K1 and so we see also that we won't worry about this right side of the circuit for um, T approaches infinity and we'll say that I of um, infinity is also five milliamps. So to find um, the find K2, we have to use the equation I zero of zero plus, which is equal to infinity minus I O of infinity. So that would be equal to five milliamps minus five milliamps which will be equal to zero and so therefore the value of k2 is equal to zero and using this equation the iot is equal to k1 plus k2 e to the negative t over tau we'll see that um k2 will be equal to zero and we know and so we'll just plug in the value of k1 which is equal to um, I of infinity, which is equal to I of, um, I of zero plus, which is also equal to I of zero minus, which is equal to five milliamps. And that is uh, 
that's how you plug and answer. And if, if you're looking for some value of I of T, you know, you plug in the value, say um, 70 milliamps. And you'll see that it's a constant. So it's always equal to five milliamps, no matter what. Um, hope you like this video and please uh, share with any of your classmates and um, just like, comment, and subscribe, I guess. Peace.